So, uh, congratulations guys, of course, a phenomenal series. My question is directed to Broxa. I just went uh, through our first interview this year uh, and I asked you how realistic it is to, to win Worlds and you said, well, from a Western perspective, it's always kind of a meme to say, I want to win Worlds and stuff. Would you like to retract that statement now? Um, well, obviously now I would like to retract my statement. We are closer to winning Worlds than I have ever expected us to be. I had some high hopes this year of going semis or even getting to the final, like making history, I guess. Um, but it's kind of a weird feeling right now because even though I know we've just played a big game, like I just talked to Martin about it now, it, it doesn't it doesn't feel as hype yet because we we still have uh, some work to do. We we're not finished yet, so while I'm really happy um, and somewhat relieved. There's still a bit of work to do before the satisfaction is, is completely there. Hi guys, uh, congratulations on the win. Uh, my question is for Reckless. Uh, this is the first time a um, Western team uh, and an EU team uh, makes to the finals, at least in the last seven years. Uh, I know. I want to know what does this mean for after all this time? Uh, finally, we have a Western team in the finals and a European team, but now with the Koreans and the Chinese playing worlds. Honestly, I don't think it means anything. I feel like if we win, that would mean something. But if we were to lose in the finals, people would forget about it in a year anyway. So I don't think anyone is sort of satisfied. Maybe the fans are, but for ourselves at least, I know we're all playing to win. So it's just another game. Hey, uh, Tyler of ESPN. Uh, this is for Bupa. Uh, we talked about uh, over dinner uh, a few nights ago about how you weren't really excited about playing Wonder or Licorice, but the Shy, who you've been a fan of for a long time, that excited you to play in the finals. Can you just talk about how it's going to feel to play the Shy in the finals, and are you excited? Um, right now I'm not too excited. I think that we still have to prepare for the matches, get an idea of how it's going to go, but all in all, uh, yeah, I look forward to playing him. I think he's a really good player. Uh, and if I, you know, have a good game against him, if I can beat him, I think I can prove that uh, I belong at the top. Oh, congratulations. Uh, my question is for Wreckers. After beating EDG, G, you said that you felt like EDG G was stronger than IG. After yesterday's series, do you still believe so? Uh, what will be your biggest worry going into the finals? I don't really know what you can take away from our series today or yesterday's series because I think both matches were really one-sided and way too easy for the good teams or the teams that were winning. So for me, I still believe that IG are struggling in a lot of areas in the game. So I, I would see ourselves as the favorites for the finals. I think we can just play our game and do our thing and we're probably gonna end up as the, the winning team. Uh, hi, I'm Eric from My Sports Brazil. I have a question for Caps. You already played against Rookie three times in this tournament, and you will face him again at the finals. How do you think it's going to be? It's a different story now because the final. How do you think? Uh, so obviously, we played a lot of like uh, a, a, a lot of big events, but we never really played like a world's final before. So it's hard to say how I will play and how other people will play. Um, but I feel like I have seen enough Rookie and I've played against him enough now that I know kind of what his thing is. I know what makes him different from other mid laners and uh, I'm pretty confident going up against him. I think uh, I'm honestly just, I just think what he does will be a lot harder to do on, on, like, in the final. And I think we, we're just a better team and I, I think we have a pretty good idea of, of how to beat him. Hi guys, uh, congratulations. Uh, my question is for Bibup. Bibup, man, you are uh, half Brazilian, and you have now all Brazilian people's crowned for you. How do you think about this? How do you think about the Brazilian crowd in finals? Uh, I'm just really happy there's more people. The more people that look forward to Fnatic winning, the better, I think. It feels pretty good knowing that you know, I have kind of a nation standing behind me. Uh, I think that most people want to see us win, at least from our side of the community, so I hope we can just give them that and pay off all the support that we've been getting because I think that from the start, most people actually believe that we could make it this far, and the fact that we did just means we have to take it home to prove that we're the best team in the world. We got it. Okay. Um, 
Um, hi, um, this is Ashley Kang for ESPN. Um, I have a question for Wipo. Um, were you, um, so you had a really good game today, but were you quite surprised about C9's draft, especially around them playing 1-3-1? And I also have a question for Caps. Um, we saw your family cheering for you in the, um, in the audience area. Um, is the support from your family a big part of your performance in any way? Um, I'm not really too surprised. I, th I figured that if they were going to leave a champion up that is very powerful, like Victor or Aatrox or something like this, uh, C9 always has a tendency to take a cheese pick into it. Uh, I think this time around their pick was very lackluster. I don't think Echo is a champion that, into Victor specifically, will show results on stage. So uh, I just played the best Victor I could, and apparently that was good enough to uh, take him out. Hello, my question is for... Uh, <laughs> Um, so I'm really excited about my parents, or like my dad is here only now, but I'm really happy for my dad watching me, and I know that my mother and the rest of my family are watching me from home, so it's definitely very nice to have a lot of like, uh, a lot of family supporting me, and I also saw there was like cap sign in the crowd, and I saw there were a lot of like Fnatic fans, so it, it definitely excites me, it definitely makes me like hyped about the game, and uh, it's hard to say what how what how it exactly influences me, but uh, it just it just makes it so when you're nervous or when you don't think if you know if you have the confidence to go for something, you just want to go for it because you want to make the fans proud, and they're out there supporting you. My question is for Jungbak. We've seen that uh, in this semi-finals it has been much more of a dominant series since the teams have had a whole week to prepare as opposed to two days only. And what are the things you have to? Uh, sort of go over when you only have two days as opposed to a whole week of preparation? I think it comes down to scouting our opponents level ones, their general pathing, what champions they like to play, specific combinations of champions they like to play. And I think we have a really good staff for that. We have uh, Dylan, myself and Jack who is not here with us right now. I mean he's uh, somewhere in the bleachers. And uh, we just all separate the work and have a lot of big workload. But because we have the goal to win worlds, I think none of the players and staff members are burning out yet, which usually happens to a lot of teams, and which I also think happened to C9 and G2, where they reached their goal or overreached, and then they didn't feel the same hunger to keep working. And the hunger for us to win the finals is there, so we will keep working. My name is Fars Housley. I'm with the Shot Collar. I have a question for Broxa. Uh, earlier in this tournament, someone asked me uh, what champion I thought was least likely to be in this whole world's tournament, and Rek'Sai was near the top of that list. Um, but you pulled it out today, and you guys got the win, so uh, what was the inspiration behind that? Um, so in our qualifying game against EDT, Sinso ended up being really, really high priority. Um, so we figured that finding a, a counter or something that's good into a Sinso would be a good option, which is why we tested some picks and Rek'Sai turned out to be the, the pick that is actually playable into Sinsa that uh, can work really well and even though early game was, was pretty poor this game and I didn't get to show the matchup completely optimally then it still worked out, uh, worked out really well later on so uh, yeah it was just based on the series against CDG where Sinsa looked really OP um, and then yeah Rek'Sai was a secret counter at least playable. <laughs> Uh, this is Tyler PSP again, uh, this is for Red Plus. You've been on a lot of teams throughout your career, uh, a lot of Fnatic teams, Alliance, all that. Uh, what makes this team different than all the ones you've been on before? I think I've always played with good players. I couldn't possibly say that like I've, I've had the, the unfortunate time of playing with a bad team. I, I think all of my players have always been good, so I would say the, the biggest change this year for me is that we're actually playing really well together. I think even in 2015 when we had our worlds run, we weren't that great as a team. I think we were getting really carried by Huni and when he couldn't carry against uh, Koo Tigers, I think we didn't really have much to offer. Meanwhile, this time, pretty much regardless of what teams do against us, we always have someone popping off, someone doing really well. And I think that's why we are where we are. I think we just have pretty much no weaknesses at all. So people can't really prepare well against us and they can't really do crazy things against us because we just answer everything. Hey guys, you want to take a couple 